I'm Davey. I'm awesome. And welcome to the Comic Corner, where you guys make comments on my videos and I respond every week. And in between responding to your comments. Michael Jackson had an allergic reaction when he was stung by a bee hee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so kicking it off this week with last week's Comic Corner, the Predator vs. Corner. Daniel Daily on 69 commented, Hey Davey, what did the evil chicken lay? Deviled eggs. <laughs> My brother Josh, the film best to reply to this. What did the crazy chicken lay? Scrambled eggs. <laughs> ha! Got him! The jokes were funny, but let's face it, they were both over easy. <laughs> <laughs> then Richard Daly commented, I vote for Predator vs. Duke Nukem. Well then come get some. Then Paul Jetto commented, I miss Surge. Um, Surge was one of those that I liked, but I wasn't crazy about. If my parents bought some or I was in the mood, sure. But I wouldn't mind seeing it come back. But apparently it did have way too much sugar. But again, I didn't care. I drank Mountain Dew. Ultimately, though, I will never, ever stop campaigning for them to bring back Josta. Then Paul Jetto commented, Predator vs. Pirates. Is that your vote? Because Jay McCool mentioned that one in the last video. My brother Josh, the film best, replied, Yes! Again, are you guys voting, or did you think you came up with that? Then my brother Josh, the film best, he commented, Pepsi Clear wasn't nasty. Pepsi Clear was life! No, it was nasty. Which is why every time it comes back, it goes away again. Then Jay McCool commented, Hateful Eight is a good movie. Did you ever see the extended version? A few times. I like it. I get why he cut some of it out, because the original theatrical cut was a little long. But some of it I feel like he still should have left in. Like, it was nice to have an explanation as to why they didn't shoot John Ruth the moment he showed up with Daisy. Then Jay McCool commented, Oh, I gotta hear the story of him keeping your brother on the phone. Okay, tomorrow. It's looking like every other week I'm gonna be telling stories about this roommate now. Then Jay McCool commented, I do love Pirates of the Caribbean. I like the first one. The second one was pretty good. The third one was okay. And then after that, I just... Ugh. Then Jay McCool commented, Stephen Amell would be awesome as the Shadow. We need to start a campaign to make this happen. I'm doing my part. My kids told me they want a cat next Christmas. Usually I make a ham. <laughs> then on my Davies Awesome Stories, Annoying Restaurant Customers, Part 3. Daniel DeLeon69 commented, Another awesome story. Nice. Glad you enjoy. Then Paul Jetto commented, I haven't done food service since my teens. I hated it. The customers get worse the further down you are on the customer service ladder, I swear. That is true. And they even have, like, levels of how dignified this is. I've been a busboy, I've been a dishwasher, I've been a waiter, and I've worked fast food. The worst of those seems to be when I worked fast food. Like, people just really look down on you when you're working at McDonald's or something. You're not treated much better as a busboy, depending on what restaurant you're at. Well, the waiter seems to get the best treatment, but even then, the slightest little thing goes wrong and you ruin their whole night. As if you're the one that cooked their food. Then my brother Josh, the film bestie, commented, I asked my girlfriend if they serve whales at Red Lobster. That way, the next time we go, we can bring her mother. What do you call a Chinese lobster? A crust Asian. <laughs> Why don't lobsters like to share? Because they're shellfish. <laughs> what do you call an annoyed lobster? A frustration. <laughs> what do you call a lobster that's afraid of tight spaces? Claws trophobic. <laughs> what does Winnie the Pooh use to eat? His bare hands. <laughs> Especially in Blood and Honey. Then my brother Josh, the film bestie, commented, Ironic, I'm eating Subway as I watch this. I did have oil and vinegar on my sandwich. That's terrible, dude. You're from Nevada. Go to Porta Subs. It's way better. Then Jay McCool commented, I love telling people, I'll tell my manager. It is fun. Because I think they know and we mo. Not gonna say a word to them. Then Jay McCool commented, So what did the couple end up doing? They fought a little bit more... He got his pizza, 
she didn't get anything. She just sat there angry. And I'm assuming afterwards they went and got her her burger. And he sat there angry. But I really don't know. You know why Ewoks are always at home? Because they're indoor creatures. <laughs> then on my name is Awesome Wrestling, where I reviewed Elimination Chamber Perth. Daniel DeLeon69 commented, Elimination Chamber in Australia was good, except for the Grayson Waller segment, which I totally agree with you, Davey. So therefore, I give it a 3 out of 5. That's about what I gave it. It was, it was okay. Then Paul Jettle commented, Those belts you got are awesome. I sure love them. Then Paul Jettle commented, You're right, a lot of this was predictable, but it was a decent enough event. WrestleMania better step it up. Let's hope. But part of me still thinks that at WrestleMania it's going to end like last year. Then Jay McCool commented, This is funny. I don't really watch WWE anymore. The only thing I've watched all year was Royal Rumble. Yet even I predicted all of this. Well, you keep up with it through my reviews, and I'm guessing you probably read stuff online. But yeah, if you kept up with it at all, then nothing was surprising. I bet working at the unemployment office is a tense job. Because even if you get fired, you got to come in the next day. <laughs> Then I'm at Evie's Awesome Food video where I reviewed Coca-Cola Spiced. Daniel DeLeon69 commented, I tried one of these and you're absolutely right, Davey. It's really good. Fire. It was really good. Most people I know who tried it liked it. Then Paul Jetto commented, I didn't care for this one, but then again, I'm not big on raspberries. I think Coke should do a pineapple flavor. It seems to be that way, like hit or miss. Most people I know like it, but the people who don't like it are like you and my wife don't really care much for raspberry. Like, my wife doesn't mind raspberry, but she doesn't love it. As far as pineapple coke, you might be on to something. Then my brother Joseph Film Bestie commented, Remember, the spice must flow, Muad'Dib. Nerd. Then Jamie Cool commented, This stuff is delicious. Like I said, it's hit and miss. Which is why I don't feel like it's going to be around very long. Then Jay McCool commented, Get that pinky up, you fancy lad. Take my advice. If you're fat and someone offends you, be the bigger person. <laughs> so there you have it. That's the Comic Corner this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to hit like, hit subscribe, hit the little bell so you get notifications for when I post videos, and leave a comment of your own to be in next week's Comic Corner. But I also need you to do me a favor and share this video so that we can get Stephen Amell to play the Shadow. Love you guys!